Hi guys, my name is Pratik Joshi and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be discussing with you GMAT Online 2022 updates. So if you are watching this video after 2022, then please note that sometimes things change over time or within a particular set of months. So please do your research before you finalize uh, on your exam when you have decided to answer GMAT and stuff like that. Uh, because this video I am making with all the information that I have right now but then within few days, few months things change. So please uh, note that that it was just like a small disclaimer. So without wasting much time, let's get started. So first uh, we'll talk about the things that have not changed in uh, this year as well. So the first thing is the registration process. The registration process remains the same. If you want to know more about it, uh, my video is there in the i button. So you can click on the i button and then you will get redirected to that video. Second thing is GMAT still has four sections, quant, verbal, IR, AWA section. Then comes the choice between the sections, which one do you want to answer first, uh, which one you want to answer later, all that stuff. You get three uh, possible ways uh, in which you can select which uh, particular section you want to answer first and stuff like that. So that remains the same just like last time. Next is the uh, unofficial score viewing after you have answered the exam. So that will remain the same as well for GMAT Online 2022. Once you finish the exam, you will get that this is your unofficial score and the official score will reach you in seven working days. But sometimes uh, because of some issues, it can take uh, around 20 days for you to receive your score. So please uh, note this before you register for your exam or if your exam is very close to your application dates and stuff like that. Another thing which has not changed is uh, the breaks. Uh, there are two eight minute long breaks uh, which are strategically placed uh, in the sections. If I'm not wrong, you have to answer the IR and the AWA section in one go. So the breaks you will get are uh, with like verbal and quant like uh, it will be just like before or after these sections but if I'm not wrong you have to answer the IR and the AWA section in one go. Next uh, another thing which has not changed is the length of the exam. The length of the exam still remains at 3 hours and 7 minutes. Uh, not that long but uh, this is something that GMAC has changed in 2021 but this uh, remains the same for 2022. Another thing that has not changed is the validity of your GMAT score. So your GMAT score is valid for 5 years. Thank God that has not changed. Speaking about the things that have not changed, uh, we have the online and the physical whiteboard. All the rules associated to the whiteboards have not changed at all. So if you want any help in terms of selecting the right whiteboard for you, then uh, click on the I button and you will get redirected to another video that I have created just for you. And also if you have uh, different queries regarding your physical whiteboard, then again I have uh, created a video uh, which is a simple Q&A based on the responses that I get. So that video I have put in the I button as well. So click on that to go to that video. And uh, maybe the final thing that has not changed which is a registration for the GMAT online exam using your Aadhaar card. So this is like a incentive for all the Indians. So if you can use that to your advantage, well and good. So talking about the changes that have taken place for GMAT online in 2022 is that you do not get unlimited score uh, reports. You just get five score reports that you can send to five business courses. If you want to send it to more courses, you will have to pay for each score report that you send. Now in terms of that charge, uh, it keeps changing. It's sometimes it is $20, $30, $10. But nevertheless, uh, please do that research if you are planning on sending it to more than five courses. Also, it is not like you will wake up someday and then you decide I'm, not, I'm going to send one of my score to maybe Harvard, maybe one of my course to uh, Princeton. Please note, you have only 48 hours after you receive your score to send these five complimentary score reports. So let's say you have answered your GMAT exam a uh, few days back. You just received your score today morning. So from today morning, you have 48 hours to send your five complimentary score reports. Talking about the things that have changed is the price, that is the cost of the exam. So earlier it was $250, now it is $275. So approximately 20,000 rupees for one shot. 
uh, at answering the GMAT exam. So please plan well. Talking about the thing that has uh, changed, that is in terms of GMAT retest. Uh, there was a lot of confusion in terms of 2021 um, speaking about the gmat online how many times you can answer it if i've exhausted those uh, times then can i go and answer the gmat test center based exam so in 2022 it's very very simple you get to answer the gmat five times in one single year and a total of eight times over your lifetime so when i say five times in one year you can answer the gmat online or you can answer the gmat test center based exam you cannot answer five times GMAT online exam and five times uh, GMAT test center based. So you cannot get five times of GMAT online. I've exhausted my five times online. So now I'm going to answer the test center based five, five times. Not possible. If I answer the GMAT online exam maybe once and GMAT test center based exam once, that counts as two times I've answered my GMAT in maybe one calendar year. So please note that. So that is it guys for this video. Thank you so, so, so very much for watching this video till the end. Then don't forget to hit the like button. I'll be seeing you for the next video. So until then, be happy, stay safe, take care of your loved ones.